Hi, I'm Shane Millis, Doc Hockey for Proaction Sports Injury Clinic. We're here with Andrea, our exercise specialist from St. Lawrence College. All right, today we're doing uh, extrinsic foot exercises, uh, more of the advanced versions. These are a little bit tougher than some of the earlier ones that we've talked about. All right, so we're gonna do toe calf raises on a step. So you only have your toes on the step instead of the whole foot, which a lot of people do, okay? As she comes all the way down, all right, only on the toes, coming all the way, and then come all the way back, staying on just the toes, okay? And all the way down, feel a little bit of stretch in the bottom part of the foot as well as in the calf, and all the way up. So it's the muscles of the toes doing all the work. So it's much more on the bottom of the foot than it is just calves doing all the work. Great, thank you very much with that. All right, the next one we're gonna be doing is squat with shin circles, all right? So you can get down into a squat. It doesn't have to be a full squat, but a semi-squat with that. And what you wanna do is just basically moving at the ankles and in the bottom part of the foot is moving back and forth into circles. All right, you're gonna be wanting to do circles in both directions, nice, slowly, and controlled, but really working on incorporating your foot uh, into doing the controlling of the circles of it, okay? You're gonna feel it in the ankles and in the foot, but that's where you basically want to be able to do that and having a good control of the intrinsic muscles there in the foot. Right. The third one we're going to do is a ski jumper, okay? So ski jumper is often where we're using the bottom part of our feet to actually stop us from going forward. So as she leans forward, she's using the bottom part of her feet and the inside part of her feet. So in through here, okay? In through the bottom part of the foot to actually stop that and not to grip the toes too tightly. So go forward for us, all right? And then come back, okay? You can use the wall a little bit to help balance yourself or if you want to just engage in a little bit further... Um, flexion of the ankle, you can do that. Obviously, we want to do this independently with just your your feet, uh, the intrinsic foot muscles underneath the foot, but uh, you want to progress, obviously, in a, in a good way of the, for this exercise. Thank you very much, Andrea. And as you can see here, so we have our intrinsic foot exercises. One is the toe calf raises on the step. Two is the squat with shin circles, both directions. Three is the ski jumper to increase those bottom part of the foot and uh, to help with your cells of control um, when you're going forward towards the wall. You wanna do reps of 10 sets, one to two sets daily, morning and night to help with all those foot uh, exercises and get the strong and keep away that plantar fasciitis. Take care, have a great day. I'm Shane Bills, Proaction Sports Injury Clinic.